The good, the bad, the ugly, General Henry Thomas. In the pantheon of American Civil War heroes, Union General Henry Thomas often stands in the shadow of Grant, Sherman, and Sheridan, yet his contributions to the Union victory were nothing short of monumental. Known as Old Hickory for his toughness and the Rock of Chickamauga for his unwavering resolve, Thomas's strategic brilliance and steadfast leadership were instrumental in the turning the tide of the war in the Western theater. Unlike many of his northern counterparts, Thomas hailed from Virginia. Though raised in a slaveholding family, he remained loyal to the Union when his state seceded, a decision that ostracized him from his family and his friends. This loyalty would be tested again and again throughout the war, as Confederate forces reportedly tried to exploit his southern roots. Thomas's military prowess shone early. He played a key role in Grant's victories at Mill Springs, Perryville, and Stones River, earning a reputation for calm amidst chaos and the ability to rally his troops even under the heaviest fire. His strategic mind was evident at the Battle of Mill Springs, where he correctly predicted the Confederate attack route and positioned his troops for a decisive victory. However, it was at the Battle of Chickamauga in 1863 that Thomas truly cemented his place in history. With Grant away, Thomas commanded the Union rearguard against a Confederate onslaught. Facing overwhelming odds and threatened with encirclement, Thomas held his ground like a living rock, repelling wave after wave of the Confederate attack. His resolute defense bought precious time for the rest of the Union Army to regroup and ultimately claim victory, preventing a potentially devastating Confederate breakthrough. Following Chickamauga, Thomas was named commander of the Army of the Cumberland. He quickly reorganized and revitalized his demoralized troops, preparing for a decisive showdown with Confederate General John Bell Hood. At the Battle of Nashville in 1864, Thomas's meticulous planning and aggressive assault shattered Hood's army, effectively eliminating a major Confederate threat in the West. Beyond his tactical brilliance, Thomas was revered by his men for his leadership qualities. He treated his soldiers with respect, regardless of their background, and was known for his quiet and humble demeanor. This earned him the unwavering loyalty and dedication of his troops, who readily followed him into battle despite facing seemingly insurmountable odds. Despite his undeniable accomplishments, Thomas's contributions to the Union victory often received less attention than those of his more flamboyant contemporaries. Some attribute this to his personality. His quiet competence did not lend itself to the hero worship so common in wartime narratives. Others point to his southern roots, which made him a less comfortable fit for the dominant northern narrative of the war. However, there is no denying the impact of Henry Thomas on the course of the Civil War. His strategic acuum, unwavering courage, and dedication to his men were crucial in securing Union victory in the West. He serves as a reminder that true heroes often come in understated forms, quietly etching their names in the annals of history through their actions rather than self-promotion. General Henry Thomas stands as a towering figure in American Civil War history. His accomplishments at Chickamauga, Nashville, and countless other battles deserve to be recognized and celebrated. As we revisit the stories of the Civil War, let us remember the Rock of Chickamauga as a hero, not just for the Union, but for all who value courage, leadership, and unwavering dedication in the face of adversity. Thomas's positive influence on the Union Army transcended the battlefield, shaping its morale, discipline, and strategic approach in profound ways. One of Thomas's most valuable assets was his unwavering composure. In the midst of the battlefield's whirlwind of chaos, he remained a stoic pillar, his quiet confidence radiating outward and calming even the most rattled nerves. This steadiness was invaluable in rallying his troops, particularly during moments of crisis. 
At the Battle of Stones River, when Confederate forces threatened to overwhelm the Union line, Thomas's calm demeanor and decisive orders reestablished order and turned the tide of the battle. His soldiers knew that no matter how desperate the situation, Old Hickory would stand firm, offering them a steady hand to grasp onto amidst the storm. Thomas understood that a disciplined army is a victorious army. He instilled in his troops a vigorous training regime, emphasizing precision, teamwork, and unwavering adherence to orders. This meticulous approach created a well-oiled machine capable of executing complex maneuvers and weathering intensive fire with minimal disruption. The Battle of Nashville, where Thomas's army flawlessly executed a coordinated attack that shattered Confederate General John Bell Hood's forces, stands as a testament to the effectiveness of his training methods. While Thomas's calm demeanor might have obscured his tactical acumen, his strategic mind was as sharp as any in the Union ranks. He possessed a keen understanding of terrain and troop movements, allowing him to exploit weaknesses and surprise his opponents. His decisive defense at Chickamauga, where he held the Union line against overwhelming odds, buying precious time for reinforcements, was a masterclass in defensive strategy. His victory at Mill Springs and Perryville, where he correctly predicted Confederate movements and positioned his troops accordingly, further demonstrated his strategic brilliance. Beyond his military prowess, Thomas was a leader who genuinely cared for his men. Unlike some Union generals who viewed their troops as mere tools, Thomas treated his soldiers with respect, regardless of their background or social status. He recognized their sacrifices and understood their anxieties, leading by example and sharing their hardships. This genuine concern fostered a deep sense of loyalty and trust within his ranks, motivating his men to fight with unwavering dedication. General Henry Thomas's influence on the Union Army extended far beyond his battlefield victories. His calm demeanor instilled discipline and resilience. His strategic brilliance earned strategic victories, and his genuine care for his men fostered loyalty and dedication. He was not a flashy hero, but a quiet pillar of strength, a leader who laid the foundation for countless Union successes. His legacy of success is etched in the annals of American history, a testament to the power of the quiet confidence and unwavering leadership in the face of adversity. While other Union generals may have captured the headlines, it was General Henry Thomas's quiet, unwavering leadership that played a crucial role in the shaping of the Union Army into a formidable force. His influence transcended the battlefield, fostering discipline, strategic brilliance, and a deep sense of loyalty amongst his troops. As we remember the heroes of the Civil War, let us not forget the Rock of Chickamauga, a leader whose quiet strength and genuine care for his men helped secure the Union victory and shape the course of American history. While General Henry Thomas, nicknamed Old Hickory for his toughness and the Rock of Chickamauga for his unwavering resolve, undoubtedly contributed to the Union victory in the American Civil War, his legacy is not without blemish. Examining his shortcomings and negative influences on the Union Army reveals a more nuanced understanding of this complex historical figure. One of Thomas's most glaring weaknesses was his cautiousness, bordering on timidity. This earned him the nickname Slow Trot Thomas and often frustrated both his superiors and his subordinates. While his deliberate approach paid off at Chickamauga, where his staunch defense saved the Union Army from disaster, it also led to missed opportunities in other battles. At Stones River, his reluctance to pursue the retreating Confederate forces prevented the Union Army from inflicting a potentially decisive blow. This cautiousness, while understandable given the high stakes of war, could sometimes hinder the momentum of Union offensives. Thomas personally often clashed with those around him. He had strained relationships with General William Rosecrans, his superior at Stones River, due to disagreements over strategy and command. His stoic demeanor, while reassuring to his troops, could also appear aloof and uncommunicative, leading to friction with some of his subordinates. 
This lack of interpersonal warmth, while not fatal, did create unnecessary tension within the ranks. While Thomas excelled at defensive maneuvers, his offensive tactics were sometimes criticized for their lack of imagination and aggression. He was known for relying on frontal assaults, a notoriously bloody and ineffective tactic, even when other, more strategically sound options might have been available. This reliance on brute force, while effective in certain situations, resulted in unnecessary casualties and could have been mitigated with more innovative tactics. It is important to note that attributing significant blame to Thomas for the Union Army's losses is often an oversimplification. Many factors, including Confederate tactical brilliance, logistical challenge, and political pressures contributed to the Union setbacks. While Thomas's limitations as a general deserve examination, judging him solely on his negative influences paints an incomplete picture. Ultimately, General Henry Thomas's legacy is one of mixed outcomes. His defensive brilliance and unwavering resolve were invaluable assets to the Union Army, but his cautiousness, personality conflicts, and reliance on outdated tactics also had negative consequences. By acknowledging both his strengths and his weaknesses, we gain a more accurate understanding of his complex role in the Civil War and the factors that contributed to both Union victories and defeats. General Henry Thomas stands as a fascinating figure in the American Civil War. His military contributions were undeniable, yet his shortcomings and negative influences on the Union Army cannot be ignored. By embracing the complexities of his leadership, we gain a richer understanding of the intricate tapestry of human strengths and weaknesses that ultimately shape the outcome of this monumentous conflict. Remember, history is rarely black and white, and appreciating the nuances of figures like Thomas allows us to learn valuable lessons about leadership, strategy, and the human cost of war. It's your history. Learn it. Know it and love it.